guys, this is again Shapiro here, back again. And this time with a video on watching my iPad. Let's get started. First application I'm going to show you is X-Plane. X-Plane is an airplane simulator for your iPad, a very powerful one with very high graphics. So over here we have region, you can select which parts of the world you want to be in. We also have different airplanes you can use. We have different times you can use. And here are all your settings. What's also interesting about this application is that not only can you use planes, you can also use the air shuttle. We scroll all the way down over here, there you go. And it goes through all the steps necessary to go into space and come back. So let's get out of here. The next application I'm going to show you is GarageBand. GarageBand is Apple's application. It's very powerful. If we go to My Songs, we have all these different songs that I've created. Example here is something I made up. If we go up here, you can choose all these different instruments. You can also choose something called smart instruments if you don't know how to play an instrument very well. So for example, if I don't know how to play the drums, we can select different types of drums we want to use, such as house drum machine, live rock kit, a classic studio kit, and vintage kit. We can select which part of the drum kit we want to put on. And if we bring it to the left, we have more of a simple beat. If we bring it to the right, we have a complex beat. And then if we bring it down more, we have a more quiet beat. If we bring it up more, we have a louder beat. So for example, let's use a snare drum. It's very simple, but if I bring it over here, we have more of a complex beat. We can select all these different parts of the drum kit we want to put in. So let's get out of here. The next application I'm going to show you, which is going to be the last for today, is Maven. Maven is a browser alternative to Safari. If you're on iOS 4, you do not have the tab-like browsing feature in Safari. And this browser does offer it. And down here we have something called a track point. And as you can see here, is that this browser brought something back that hasn't been around on computers, specifically laptops, in quite a while. I can't really explain how useful it is, but you have to try it out yourself. So let's just test this browser out. It's very fast, just like Safari. Let's go to gadgetsuperhero.com. As you can see, here's my website. Everything's working properly. You can scroll down very easily. Multi-touch does work. And there we go. Be sure to check out GadgetSuperHero.com for all my latest opinions upon the world of technology. You can also visit AlienT3.com for all the latest technology news. You can also follow me on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GadgetSuperHero. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.